A satellite that could improve our weather forecast is now headed to space. Within the last 15 minutes, it left Cape Canaveral on top of an Atlas V rocket. You saw the launch live on our air. Action News Jack's Garrett Beatenbaugh was there to witness that launch. And Garrett, a similar satellite is watching the sky over Jacksonville already right now. Yeah, we've been watching uh, the skies over Jacksonville from the two years ago satellite that launched. It was called GOES-R, now called GOES-16. That's what was scanning the skies during Hurricane Irma, during Hurricane Maria in this past hurricane season. So this is a similar satellite, the sister satellite that'll be over the GOES-West position that was launched today at 5.02 p.m., which you saw here on Action News Jackson. In fact, we have some video of that, re of that launch in case you mix missed it at the top of the broadcast. This particular satellite will provide three times more data, four times better resolution, and scan the Earth Earth five times faster than the previous generation of our weather satellites that we typically show you in the First Alert Weather Center with the visible satellites and the puffy cloud tops. So we'll be able to show you and have already been showing you uh, the real time data almost down to a minute in some cases, every minute scanning the, the skies there to track thunderstorms. Now, also, this is what the satellite will look like when it's above our heads and above shifting to the goes west position that will cover all the way to the Pacific Ocean and New Zealand and up to Alaska. So some marine fog for them. And of course, the wildfire detections will really help law enforcement know where new wildfires have sparked. And plus, it'll also help us with our weather forecasting techniques as we go from our upstream to downstream to Florida. A lot of our weather comes from west to east. So we'll be talking about that over the coming uh, weeks and months. But also some sea breeze convection. More on that with the National Weather Service. And we can actually look and decide uh, with the data that we're receiving from Gozar whether or not that shower or thunderstorm might develop into something bigger. So the resolution and how quickly we get it is unlike anything we've seen. So now that it is in orbit coming up here in just a little bit, uh, it is going to be called GO-17. Then it will officially over the coming months be, uh, become declared operational, and that will happen later in 2018. Reporting live from the Kennedy Space Center, I'm First Alert Meteorologist Garrett Beatenball, CBS 47 Action News Jacks.